All right. Hello, everyone. I have been a longtime listener, but can't believe I am the one writing you now. I really need advice from all of you. My marriage has been the best for a long time. Hasn't. Oh, yeah. That's important. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yep. that would really screw up the entire email. 100%. We could. <laughs> that's one word I couldn't mess up. My marriage hasn't been the best for a long time. I have been subjected to countless affairs stemming back some 20 years. In the beginning, I worked through them because I didn't want my kids to grow up in a single parent home like I did. I was depressed. My self-esteem was non-existent, neither of which have really changed over the years. As time went on, I convinced myself that if I left the marriage, I would be single forever. This allowed a couple more affairs to happen with no repercussions. <laughs> I resisted any sort of friendships with other males because two of the affairs were with my so-called friends. Wow. I'm very, yeah, I know, dude. This is what keeps getting worse. I'm very embarrassed about the whole situation and I never wanted anyone to find out my past so I have avoided making new friends. I'm an introvert, so talking to women really isn't my strong suit. I tend to shy away from social encounters with strangers when possible. I can't expect others to like me if I don't like myself, right? I wasn't always this way, though. A few weeks ago, I actually met someone. She is a new employee where I work, and my boss had her shadow me for the day. She's outgoing, beautiful, and has a great sense of humor. I felt really comfortable talking to her. She told me that she was recently divorced due to similar circumstances. No, I never mentioned my history, but it really broke my heart hearing what happened to her. She didn't sound upset about it, but I've had many sleepless nights since that day thinking about her. I know it's presumptuous to even think she would be interested in someone like me. She's way out of my league, and honestly, I feel like a nobody. I really don't know what to do. I should probably seek professional help. Yes. <laughs> but why pay a therapist when I have all of you? <laughs> Thanks for listening. I think this one's going to be pretty common across the board here. one 855 Show. Okay, so let me address a couple of things here that I feel Leave that strongly hope. about. What's that? That's it. We're Leave out that here. Yeah. <laughs> That's the real thing right there is, man, don't focus on this coworker here. You should have been out of this a while ago. Now, I understand that you were trying to be stoic and you were trying to keep it together for the kids. I always uh, kind of felt like when there is a divorce... Yes, the effect of any divorce is going to have some kind of effect uh, on your kids. But most of the damage comes when parents, uh, the way they deal with the divorce rather than the divorce itself. Um, I came from one of these families also and stayed and stayed and stayed for the kids. Uh, inevitably, um, when I look back at it, yeah, I guess I am. I'm, I'm fine with how long I stayed in it. Mm -hmm. Um but this guy's checked out. I mean, and you're doing things here that are ripping at your soul, dude. Every time that you have a relationship or you cheat or what have you um, or get cheated on, it's ripping at your soul and you're just staying there. So forget about the coworker. You got you, you got a lot of baggage to deal with here, man. Yeah, I wouldn't even say he's checked out. I feel like she has just whittled away at his self-esteem these last 20 years. So you're at a point now and I'm thinking this interaction you had with the coworker gave you a glimpse of what could be out there. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad you're finally seeing that because you are worthy. Like you deserve someone who appreciates you, who respects you, who, who you want to see every single day, who's going to make you feel like the best person in the world and make you want to be the best person in the world. And you don't have that right now with your current partner. So it's time for you to realize that you deserve better and you deserve more. And I agree with Bert. Um, it's not so much pursuing anything with the coworker, but I think it's recognizing that you're not the only one that's been in a situation like this. Um, and it's time for you to pick yourself up and move on. Yeah, start working on your own self-esteem here, man. 100%. So I do agree with y'all as far as obviously he needs to move on. And um, this marriage seems miserable for the both of them. I don't, I don't even know why you would be in it this long. I know it's easier said than done. But do whatever you need to do in order to, to find yourself again and to get away from this. But at the same time, I actually think you should lean into the coworker Because uh, mm -hmm. sometimes I do believe that the universe may send you people to be a bridge. Mm -hmm. And it may not be... You may not spend the rest of your life with her, but if she can be somewhat of a bridge or a motivational piece to help you see that there is better out there and you can use that to get out of this current situation, 
I'm all for it. I ain't mad at it. Yeah. You don't even have to look at it as a romantic relationship. Like here you have somebody that's in a similar situation. So, you know, and the fact that you've already shared or she's been willing to share so much, lean on her for some advice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be and like, support. We're in a similar situation and I want to take this step. Like, how did you get the courage to leave that marriage? And maybe she can give you some guidance as to how you can get yourself in a better position. You just got to li- live your life cleanly. That's all. So you mm-hmm. can look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? I did the right thing. I stayed for the right reasons. And now I'm taking off for the right reasons. The Burt Show. So first, thanks for watching. Second, you like what you just watched? That just scratches the surface. Get the Burt Show on any podcast platform. We're so good.